What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Gemini, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for time of Gemini. This will resonate if you have Gemini in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or the Menhaven with Jupiter chart. That's the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Gemini. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your energy for August of 2022, Gemini. I heard um, someone lying about someone's professional credentials in the past is about to bite them in the ass in a huge way. That's what I heard. So, I mean, only, you know, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody you're connected to that lied to, that lied about somebody else's credentials in the past, professional credentials. Um, it doesn't have to be you. Only you know if you lied about somebody's professional credentials in the past or not. I feel for I feel for majority of my collective, it wasn't you. But it might be for one or two of you guys. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But however that resonates, somebody lied about somebody's credentials in the past. They just straight up did. Whether it was a Gemini or somebody else. And I heard it's basically about to energetically bite them in the ass in the form of negative karma soon. So whoever that low vibrational person is, whether they have Gemini in their chart or not, it's about to boomerang back upon them. Because that, anybody doesn't know, that's called defamation of character. That's called defamation of character. When you publicly slander somebody, slander, i.e. lie, i.e. lie on their professional credentials, that is called defamation of character. So whoever that person is, it could be a Gemini or somebody connected to a Gemini, okay? Spirit messages you have signed, Gemini. But it, negative karma is about to come around for that person, uh, whoever that person is, and however they apply. Spirit messages you have signed, Gemini. An Aquarius and a, uh, Aquarius and a Pisces, pregnant Pisces is about to become very significant in Gemini's life. A fair duo, a fair duo. Holy crap, Gemini! Okay, I heard an Aquarius and a Pisces uh, is about to become very significant in a, a Gemini's life. A fair duo is what I just heard. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, they're an affair duo, so I think they're both in an affair with each other. Um, and the Pisces is pregnant, so that has to be a Pisces femme. I think the Aquarius is probably an Aquarius masculine, but in some situations it could be an Aquarius femme. Well, no. Somebody had to impregnate her. I think it was him. I think it's an Aquarius masculine and a Pisces femme. Heard um, pregnant Pisces. So, pregnant, pregnant Pisces femme and probably an Aquarius masculine. A fair duo. So, they're having an affair with each other. And I think they might, both of them might be in committed mar marital situations, possibly. Possibly. Or one of them is. But somehow, this affair duo is about to become very significant in your life, Gemini. Now, however you're connected to them and how that resonates. It could be platonic. It could be personal, professional. What have you, what have you? I don't know if you invite them over for tea and crumpets or you see them in your office or what have you, what have you. I'm not sure. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, we have owl and phoenix. Um, for some, you could be dealing with the air sign or fire sign. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Haven or Jupiter charts. If you are, um, you know, just saying. A Gemini masculine was highly sexually interested in a Leo feminine in the past, but they know this person is definitely not interested, and they are right, they are not. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates, Gemini. I heard a Gemini masculine was very highly sexually interested in a um, 
Leo Fem in the past, but I heard this person most certainly is not interested in you. So, um, but but somehow you know they're not though, in all fairness, Gemini. You're highly intuitive. You know this Leo Feminine's very much not sexually interested in you. So you have picked up on the fact that this person is definitely not sexually interested in you, but you were definitely sexually interested in this person in the past. Now, why you were, I don't know. <laughs> but you know now from intuitive nonverbal cues, or maybe this Leo Fem told you verbally that she wasn't sexually interested. Maybe for some, maybe for some, it was just nonverbal cues. Um, but however that resonates, um, you know she's not interested for sure, for sure. So, I mean, but that's good to know. It's good to know. That's good information, just for real, for real. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. Holy crap. All right, so we have tree affairs with your family, angels, spiritual guidance, protection from harm, groom, new home, new attitude. And we have house too. Double home energy. Owl. A very significant therapy session is about to become very significant in Gemini's life. For some, you are attending this therapy session as a patient. For some, you are not the patient. You are the provider. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. So for a very significant Gemini, uh, Gemini, a very significant therapy session is coming up. Uh, about to become significant in a Gemini's life soon it sounds like for some you're the pro provider so I feel you could be a RN, LPN, LVN um, medical assistant or a MD or a DO a doctor um, of something probably um, psychology or psychotherapy or some psychiatry or something of that nature is what I'm feeling but you plug it in how it resonates only you know your story not anybody else but one, you're the provider, and one, you are the patient. So one, you are going to be the patient coming in for this therapy session, like sitting on somebody's couch. Um, whether you have insurance or you're paying out of pocket, I'm not sure. But you plug it in, how it resonates. So owl, um, intuition, I think this is, owls are wise. So I think whoever, if you're the provider, whether you're a medical assistant, LPN, LVN, RN, or DO, or MD, or something of that nature, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think you're very wise and highly intuitive and um, very knowledgeable because owls are very, very wise. And the one about to go in as the patient to this um, provider, I think you're about to provide, um, you're about to, Spill, um, not spill, but provide information. Provide information to this provider, um, and um, I think they're about to help you out with whatever situation or situations had that caused you to come in to this person. Is what I'm trying to say. You plug it in, how it resonates, Jim and I. But the one going in as a patient, I feel you have researched this provider. I think, um, or you have gotten positive referrals out for them in the community, or you have researched, researched them online, but I think you have done your research, your wise research on this provider before you go in for this therapy session, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. A very angry Aquarius is about to become very significant in a uh, Gemini's life. Very angry. Things are not working out the way they want them to. Oh, my God. 
For some, it's a masculine Aquarius. Some, it's a femme Aquarius that takes on heavy masculine energy. Okay. Heard a uh, very angry Aquarius. It's about to become very significant in a um, Gemini's life. Um, I heard things are not working out the way they want them to work out. Um, and um, it sounds like you're about to hear about this. <laughs> Gemini, I'm so sorry. Whoever you are, dear God. It sounds like a hot mess express if you ask me. Um, there's at least two Aquariuses. For some of you guys, you could just be dealing with one. For some, you'd be dealing with two or two plus. One is a masculine Aquarius that could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hamid, Jupiter, charts. The other is a fan that takes on heavy masculine. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hamid, Jupiter, charts. But however that resonates, for some reason, they're going to, I think they can think they can confide in you, or um, they know they can confide in you, or some reason they're coming to you all angry because something's not working out the way they want it to. I think these people have severe control issues. I didn't hear they did, but that's my deductive logical reasoning on this. I think they have severe control issues here. And because there's a reason they're getting all pissy in their pants that things aren't working out the way they want them to. Well, it's probably because they're trying to control something so damn bad. And that's just the truth. Um, but whoever you are, I think you're loyal and dependable and reliable. And that's why they're coming to you to confide in you. For some, you could be the therapist, possibly. They're about to come and confide in um, as a patient, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates, um, Gemini. So heavy Aquarian energy. Um, and you have the Pisces, Prego Pisces, and the Aquarius affair couple, too. Significant for some of you guys. And that Leo femme that you were very se highly sexually attracted to, but you know she, she don't want nothing to do with you sexually. So that person, too. Phoenix. A Gemini is about to move locations, physical locations. Some businesses, some moving out of area, moving. For a better job and a better life. Okay, Gemini. So some of you guys, you are a business owner or business owners. And I heard you're about to move out of area. Uh, I'm sorry, you're about to move businesses. So your business is in one location and you're about to move move physical locations for your business. So you're about to move physical locations. This could be your business, possibly for some. Um, for some, you are about to move out of area and location for um, to to better your life, to start over, set, start fresh. I think for some, for a better job. Um, so you can maybe buy a new home or you're about to buy a new home um, to better your life and situation. And that's absolutely beautiful, whoever that's for. I mean, I'm all about promoting positivity and bettering one's life and situation. absolutely. freaking -lutely. So kudos to whoever you are about to do that. You're about to be the phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, whether you're moving out of area for a, a job offer or opportunity or to start a fresh and new to find a new job opportunity um you're about to make it happen um i feel long distances here i don't feel it's no 20 minute commute um relocation i feel it's a long locate relocation like i feel in states or countries whoever you are it's really beautiful congratulations so you're about to be like the phoenix rising from the ashes it's really beautiful sir ma'am And then um, business moving, locations of business. I feel you're the business owner or co-owner or maybe somebody connected to this business owner or co-owner. But physical locations of businesses moving. House.
a Gemini knows someone is in a false marriage. And through many series of chain of events, they're about to report this to an investigator to help this person out in a huge way. They were seriously wronged in the past. Okay, I heard a Gemini knows someone was in a false marriage. And through many series of chain of events, you're about to help this person out um, because you know they were seriously wronged in the past. So um, it's not you in the false marriage, Gemini. It's somebody else. But whoever put somebody in false marriage, that's shysty. That's the shysty, 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 and low as low as low as one can get. And that's just the damn truth. So, um, but you know about this false marriage, whoever you are. It's not you that got put in the false marriage. It's somebody else. But you know about it, and you're about to report it. Um, I heard two investigators. So I think it could be feds, or that can be police. You plug that in, how it resonates, um, like local police or feds or something like that. Um, and you're going to make be the power play mover and the game changer and the wheel mover here to help this person out. Because obviously, whoever's in this false marriage, they don't know they are because they didn't put themselves in the false marriage. Somebody else put them in it. So um, I think you're about to help the process move in a positive way and, and um, report officially report this so they can um, get some help here because they don't even know they're in the false marriage. And that's really, really terrible. That's terrible is what that is. I hope the person that put the person in false marriage goes to jail. And I'm serious. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. But kudos to you, sir or ma'am, about to do that. Because um, I would do that for anybody if I knew they were in a false marriage. I really would. Because that's just wrong. That's wrong. House renovations are about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. In a vacation rental home. In an Airbnb. Okay, home renovations are about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. In a vacation rental home. In an Airbnb. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates, so this can be the Airbnb, the vacation rental home, or the um, home renovations on your home or somebody you're connected to. So. Hold on one second. Okay. Thank you, too. Okay. All right, I apologize. Okay. So, yeah. So, angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. A Gemini feminine officer of the law is about to be on a put on a homicide case soon. It's about to help your career in huge ways. And really open your eyes. Wow, congratulations. Gemini Fem, Officer of the Law. Wow. Um you're a Gemini Fem Officer of Law, and I, I pick up a Gemini Fem Officer of the Law a lot in my readings a lot. But I heard you're about to be put on a homicide case. So um, somebody, um, homicide, killed somebody. Um, yikes. Um, that's terrible. But um, I heard it's going to help your career in huge ways. It's going to help your career in huge ways, and basically, but it's going to be very eye-opening for you. So um, it sounds like you're about to get an upgrade or a, or or move to a different department or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, somehow in your career. Um, so on this, and it involves this home, upcoming homicide case. Uh, 
you have spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So I think um, you're prote you're obviously protected, and I think you are spiritual, and I think you're going to um, protect yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. Um, I, I think it might be hard. I'm, I'm sure it'll probably be hard working this homicide case, but I'm sure, I know you can do it, whoever you are, I know you can do it, and you're protected, but I think it's going to be kind of hard, uh, probably, to deal with um, maybe the information, or I, mean, I don't know, but somehow you have spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Um, I think it's going to be hard to take in the information. Um, it might be very gory, very gruesome, what have you, what have you. I like that kind of stuff, but, you know, some people don't. Um, but if you're an officer of the law and you're a femme, I think you're probably used to that by now, but I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But you have the spiritual guidance, protection from harm. You're definitely protected, sir, ma'am. You are protected. A dark arts practitioner of the past, air sign, dark arts practitioner, is going to try to come back into your life. You are going to block this person. A dark arts practitioner of the past is about to try to come back into your life. I heard you're going to block this person. So you're going to use your own spiritual protection, evil eye protection, um, prote um, protection spells, and you're going to block your energy from this person. It's an air sign dark arts practitioner of your past so you dealt with this air sign dark arts practitioner of your past in some shape form or fashion gemini they could have gemini libra aquarius and their sun moon rising venus or that maintain red jupiter charts but you are about to do your own protection and protect yourself from this person um, i think about blocking your energy blocking their call blocking communication not allowing them back into your life i heard they're going to try to come back into your life so air sign um they're going to try to come back into your life but I heard you're not going to allow it. You're an air sign too. I mean, I'm sure you're very smart, Jim and I, and you're not, you're not, you're not going to play those games, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, I don't blame you. And you know they're dark. You know they're on the dark side. You know they are. So um, I don't blame you. And a Jim and I investigator is about to help. With a dark arts COVID case, a lot of evidence is coming to police already regarding spells. Spells, screenshots, mass texts, and spells these people have been using in the past. Hidden in a religious organization. Oh my God! You plug it in. How it resonates, dear God. So, we had a coven. We had a coven of the past hiding in a religious organization, um, but apparently it's been. It was so bad that apparently people were sent uh, have already sent in evidence to the police. Um, I heard you're a Gemini investigator about to start investigating this. So you can be masculine, femme, Gemini investigator. We got one about to investigate a homicide. One about to investigate. Um, uh, um, Coven in the past that was masking themselves in a in a religious organization. Yikes! Um, but I heard you basically. Um, there's already been evidence come into the police with this. So I heard mass texts and um, videos and screenshots and some kind of spells that were used in the past on person, people, place, or situation. But uh, just know you're very protected, sir, ma'am. Um, I think you work. I think you work for the police. Uh, is exactly what I think. I think you work for the police. If that resonates for, if both those resonate with you, the homicide about to investigate the homicide and the um, dark arts coven of the past that mask themselves as in the religious organization. Yikes! It's about to be a huge investigation. A huge investigation. These people are about to finally go down, and the feds are going to help. It's about to be a huge investigation, a huge investigation. These people are about to finally go down, and the feds are about to help, is what I heard. So in this one, the feds are going to help, sir, ma'am. They're going to help. 
That's beautiful. Um, thank God, because this that's some sick old crap right there. That's it. Tree affairs with your family. A family reunion is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. Very significant. And a Gemini is about to find out about an ancestral relationship. It's about to sicken the hell out of them. In your family. In your family. Oh, no. That's too much in the family. Just saying, just saying. Yikes, that's gross. Okay, so I heard um, a family reunion is about to come significant for one of you guys. So some kind of family reunion uh, energy. Is that the oven, Matt? Oh, okay. Uh, family reunion energy. And then um, I heard uh, one of you guys, one of you Gemini's is about to find out about some kind of ancestral relationship in your family. That, that's just sickening. Um, I heard you think it's sickening too. And yeah, it is. Whoever you are, I, I don't blame you, sir, man. That's gross. That's gross. A child custody, a child custody court battle is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. For one, you're about to be taken for this child custody court battle. For one, you're about to take your ex. A child custody court battle is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. For one, you're about to take your ex. For one, you're about to be taken. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. Broom, new home, new attitude. A home that that's about to be given over to the state temporarily is about to become very significant in Gemini's life. Temporarily given over to the state to do the right thing, to give it to its rightful owner. You're about to be a huge integral part in helping balance the scales and return it to its owner. And put the fraud behind bars, prison bars. Finalization prison bars. Oh my God, this is so juicy. Gemini, my God, your reading is popping. And I'm just being for real. We got homicide investigation. We got a dark arts coven of the past that masked in a religious organization about to be investigated. And the feds are going to help with that. I mean, these are huge things. We've got um, an affair. Sounds like a high level affair, people. Um, somebody got somebody pregnant and I mean, these are more interesting than that, in my opinion, but I like, I like stuff like that. I mean, yes, I always say I don't want to ever be a police officer because I don't, but if I was, uh, could, if I could have joined the four, I mean, I'm too old to be a police officer now, but if I could have done it younger and joined as like investigative, I would have done it. I, I don't, you know, the call, the house calls and all that, but, but my point is I like stuff like that. Some females don't like stuff like that. I do. I do. I just, I do. I like books. I like crimes. I like murder mysteries. I like investigations. I like um, all the weird stuff that normal females don't like. <laughs> That's just me. I've always been that way. <laughs> but anyway, so I heard um, a gem. So one of you guys, there's a home about to be handed over to the state, I heard. So whatever state this home is in, I'm presuming. But I heard um, it is it is a feminine energy's home. But it's about to temporarily be handed over to the state so it can go to its rightful owner. But there sounds like there was another, like a fraud that lived in this home previously. Actually, it more should be like this home. Um, and, and this home previously, um, I heard um, you, one of you guys is about to help explain like catch this person that it sounds like they took somebody's home like they stole somebody's freaking like their whole damn home and their life i mean how the hell do you do that i have no idea but somehow they did um and you know this or you're about to find this out uh oh hey max do you know where the charger is my battery's about to die do you know where the charger is hold on a second
sorry about that. But yeah, so um, so yeah, um, but I heard you're about to help put the person away that I think stole somebody's home and lived in their home. How do you steal a whole hell, hell a whole freaking home? I have no idea. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't deal in criminal wave energy. <laughs> But however that resonates, um, you already know this information and you're about to find it out. And uh, you're about to help catch the criminal criminals, Gemini. I feel you could work in the police, in the police possibly, or as a, a private eye or private detective or um, something of that nature. Or maybe you're fed. I'm not sure. Uh, but I heard you're going to help put them away prison finalization. So finally prison down. I'm assuming they'll probably go jail first and prison. So, um, the, I heard the house is going to go to the state first, then through many series of chain events from the state to the person. Um, but it sounds like it, you know, it probably needs to happen that way to get it to the rightful owner is what it sounds like here. But only you guys know how you're going to handle this, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap and moly, man. And I did a reading, it was a couple of weeks ago, on a home that was about to be seized by the state because it's some kind of fraud. And it was a fin fraud. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. New home, new attitude. A Gemini is about to purchase a, a new condo for one. And one, a home over $300,000. In value, in value. Wow, Gemini, so you got your bad self. Okay, you got your bad self. Okay, so one of you guys, you're about to purchase a condo. So condominium, um, kudos to you. And one, you're going to purchase a home. I heard the, it sounds like the market value is $300,000 or more. So um, it could be a brand new home or a new to you home, however that resonates, whether it's the condo or the $300,000 or more market value on this home. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, Gemini. Okay. Teamwork coming soon. A new collaboration coming soon. And in a, a huge investigation into corporate theft and fraud coming soon. A lot of investigations in here. My God. Okay. I heard a, a investigation into corporate uh, entity fraud and theft coming soon. And um, what was the other ones? And there was a couple more. Oh, he's got his radio on out there. It's kind of screwing up. ESP, sorry. I don't know if I've done it. Okay. Um, and there was a couple more. You'll have to go back and check them. But there was, I heard the huge investigation with fraud and theft in a corporate entity. And there was a co oh, new collaboration coming soon. New collaboration coming soon. And um, some kind of teamwork energy. This could be you um, with teamwork or somebody you're connected to. Feel for some, you're about to team up with somebody. And like teamwork makes the dream work. For some, um, I think you're about to collaborate with somebody. And I think it's somebody new. I think it's somebody new for some. For some, it could be somebody of your past. But I feel for some, it's somebody new. Um, and I'm serious about that. I do. I feel energy shifts here for some reason. I feel new, 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 new for a lot of you guys. For some reason, I do. But only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. New situations, new people, new experiences, um, new homes. Um, and investigation, investigation, investigation. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. Okay, we're done. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.